We're just uh, really looking forward to many years of fun expeditions in Colorado and just hanging out a ton. Yeah, we have a camping trip planned. It's going to be epic. You guys are going to love it, and we can't wait to celebrate with you. Okay. All right. Hey, Sutter and Cordy. Uh, I just want to tell both of you guys that I love you both very much. Cordy, just getting to know you. Sutter, it's been uh, close to 20 years that I've known you. I love you both with all my heart. Uh, the fact that a beautiful couple is getting married in a beautiful place just reassures everything uh, that you guys are and what you guys represent as friends and as people in this world. You guys are an amazing couple. I love you both and I wish you all the best. So we're live. We're live. Here we are. Chris, <laughs> Courtney, uh, congratulations. Uh, we haven't been in the tent yet. And it's already one of the most beautiful weddings I've ever seen. All these lights, you guys did a, an amazing job. Uh, Courtney, I hope your vision came true. I know uh, that you're marrying a great guy, and I, I'm so happy to have the two of you in our lives and spend the rest of them with each other. So uh, get ready for a roller coaster. Uh, Courtney, I'll, I'll be back later with my wife, um, but I just wanted to let you know how amazing this wedding was. I, you know, I have to be honest, a lot of people were worried about the cold weather. That's an honest uh, fact about this wedding. And uh, we, we did it under 15, which I was uh, quite impressed with some uh, dropping of papers and a little bit of shuffling. But bottom line was, um, it was an amazing ceremony and I think it was really special. And uh, I just wanted to let you know how special this weekend is for um, us as uh, outlaws and in-laws. And uh, I love you very much. And Chris, I, uh, I'm welcoming you to the family early. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're an amazing guy, and I look forward to spending a lot of time with you. And we'll be back after a couple more cocktails. Let's get going, baby. Cheers. Congratulations. Oh, hey, Jim and uh, Sandra, we're so... Oh, oh, sorry. Wrong wedding, wrong wedding. Sorry. <laughs> Chris and Courtney, I know we just met you. <laughs> we're going to meet you later today. What do you have to say, honey? Congratulations, you guys. We love you. We wish lots of happiness. I'm indifferent, but I think it'll work out. <laughs> Thank you. To Chris and Courtney, wonderful, wonderful wedding. Hope you guys get married for 55 years at least. We have 51 in. Hopefully we have a few more left. Here's to you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Chris and Courtney, we just want to say that this has been the most fantastic experience of us to be able to share your love, our love with you. As godparents, we love you guys dearly, and God bless you in the future. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Chris and Courtney, we are so glad this day is finally here. We've anticipated it. It couldn't have been more beautiful, and we are so happy. We love you both. You're just a wonderful couple. Hey, hey, uh, hey, Jamie. Jamie, what are you doing down there? We're just going out and doing uh, push-ups for every year that Chris and Courtney will be married. Hey, you know, I know that Coach O'Hulahan comes out in you sometimes. We got to focus, though. We got to focus. And what else do we have to do? What else should we tell them about their marriage? Chris, Courtney, this is advice from Coach O'Hulahan. You got to have focus. You, you gotta, gotta have, have fight, fight and, and you gotta have finish. You heard it here from Coach O'Hulahan's Corner. Congratulations, Courtney and Chris. We're so happy to be here at your wedding. And we have heard from the Dartmouth girls and there is a lot of support and love headed your way. And we are just really proud to be the ones here to represent. So lots of love to you guys and we will see you in Denver soon. Hi, Courtney and Chris, congratulations. Um, I just wanted to say, first of all, thank you so much for including me in this beautiful night um, to celebrate your nuptials. Um, I want to also thank you for being um, the family that uh, you guys have been for me throughout my life. Um, I can't believe that um, it's been 20 years or so. And I um, want to say congratulations. You two are made for each other. Uh, 
Um, you two will have a wonderful life together, I know that for sure. And I just wanted to say I love you too. Hope you have a wonderful and fantastic night. And thanks again. Mwah. Hey, Court. Hey, Court. Congratulations. We're really happy for you. Wishing me the best and brightest future. The best always. All things, all sparkle, all good stuff. Congratulations. Congratulations. Court, you are one of the most amazing dynamic people we've ever met. And Chris, you are so kind and generous, and we were just so excited for you. Um, and yeah, we're excited to be here to celebrate with you. We love you. Hope to see you guys a lot in the future in the mountains of Colorado. Love you guys. Chris and Courtney, on behalf of Marsha and myself, we wish you the best <coughs> for all things for the rest of your life together. I know Aunt Marsha would like, love to have been here, and I spoke to her this morning, and she is, is missing, not, missing this greatest event. But anyway, best of luck always. Bye. Together, and so I just wanted to say that I'm so happy that you found someone that you can love and that um, can share all your adventures together. And I'm feeling like I don't want to. Can we make a cut? Can we cut this one? Can we cut? You can cancel this one. All right. Can we start again? Courtney, you're my hero. You bring class and adventure and fun all put together. And I'm wishing you and Chris that you have as many years together of happiness as how many bottles of wine we shared together on the porch. I love you forever. Bye. Courtney, Chris, wow, what a ceremony. How exciting. So nice to see this uh, wedding night and see the, see the culmination of such a great courtship and stuff. You two were made for each other. I loved Randall's uh, officiating. In fact, on the side, we're striking a deal. He's going to do the officiating. I'm going to run the wedding planning. So anyway, baby, you were beautiful. I love you very much. You have a fantastic life together. Um, I can't tell you how proud I am of the two of you. Um, I'm going to save this for my speech tonight, but I'm going to say it now because you won't see it till then. Everybody, every parent's dream is for a doctor, for their, for their daughter to marry a doctor. So wait a minute, my daughter is a doctor. So. Anyway, congratulations. The doctors. The doctors, Sutter. God bless you. Love you to death. Have a great life. Hi, Courtney. It's Lisa and... Tom. Congratulations. Congratulations. It was a beautiful ceremony. The weather was beautiful. The vows were beautiful. We are just so excited for you and wish you all happiness in your future life together. Congratulations. We love you. Kiss his... <laughs> the only advice I can ever give you is, uh, you know, after 10 years of marriage, it's not how you fight, it's how you make up. <laughs> Hi, Courtney and Chris. I'm so happy to be here to enjoy your special day. We are having a ball, and you are the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. Anyway, I love you. Have fun. Have a great life together. And see you soon. Hey, Courtney and Chris. Courtney, I'm going to talk to you. You have to get used to Chris. Be very patient. <clears throat> Growing up with him, I always had to wait for him to go for a run, shit, shower, and shave. Not necessarily always in that order. It might have been shower, shit, shave. But it's usually shit, shower, shave. But it took hours long time give yourself a lot of time between events or if you need to leave just make sure hey courtney and lover boy lover boy um this is mr and mrs robert a smalley the third bart and graham and uh we're so excited for you guys this has been such a beautiful weekend the weather was perfect, the scenery's perfect, and the company is perfect. And we couldn't be more delighted for y'all this day and all the days ahead. And um, Chris, as an outlaw, I cannot wait for more fun times and memories together. And Bart, as Courtney's cousin. As Courtney's cousin, and uh, you know, we grew up together in Miami, and we were partners in crime at Riviera, running around playing tennis, hanging out, beach house. This goes on and on, so congrats. Uh, this is awesome. Great occasion. Thanks for having us. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Courtney's grandma, and um, 
from Boompa, her grandfather who passed, and me, I want to say proud of you, congratulations, Chris, and love you both, and have much happiness all your life. Thank you. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Chris. What a beautiful wedding. What a beautiful weekend. We've had the greatest time. We wish you both just the most happiest life ever. That is so trite, but you know, I'm saying it. And I'm handing off to Bill. I love you, Merry Christmas, and it was a great day. Thank you. Congratulations, congratulations, and just stay true and open and honest with each other, and your marriage will last forever. We love you. We Bye. love you. Uh, Courtney and Chris, I just wanted to uh, congratulate you on a wonderful day, and uh, we wish you both uh, the absolute best and many years of happiness. Lots of laughter and good times. You're such a beautiful couple, and we love you lots. Dear Courtney and Chris, it really means a lot to us that you invited the first gay couple from Montana to come here to partake in this. It really means a lot, you know. Colorado is a very difficult place to be to be gay. We really love it. And What's Irish. And and gay Irish. and Irish. Honey, what do you have to say, Bert? Well, it's just a beautiful occasion, and, uh, you know, Glad I'm here with you and uh, to celebrate Chris and Courtney. Why don't you look directly at the camera? I'm going to give you a kiss. That just happened. Hi, congratulations. This is Aaron Ching. We're just out here at your wonderful, beautiful wedding and uh, festivities. We're so happy you guys are married. You guys are a wonderful, beautiful couple. Here's to you wishing many, many decades of love and happiness and uh, us hanging out and having a great time together always so we will see you very shortly and uh yeah congratulations. congratulations from both of us hi courtney and chris um it's your wedding finally i feel like we've been talking about this forever and you guys got married today and it was so beautiful and wonderful and i'm gonna say a lot of this in my speech but i just want to say that the best 100 percent part of living in Denver has been hanging out with you two. You guys have been so amazing and we love you and I have just loved watching you guys fall in love and you guys have become our bestest friends and raising puppies together has been the best thing in the entire world. So I say we just pull the goalie and have babies together. <laughs> right there. Dr. Sutter. Well done, sir. You scored a winner. Um, welcome to the family. Welcome to being an outlaw. So glad to have your support. Courtney, you're beautiful, you're amazing and smart, and I love having you as an older sister. And you want me to, and of course I've got to touch on the puppies. Raising puppies together is great. Maybe uh, we'll be raising children together soon. For um, sure. And. Um, the best part is we can split babysitting money. Yes. Yes. We this are is making economic. this. economic. Yeah. So uh, we'll split it 60-40. Uh, you guys forward. are doctors. You make more money for us than us. So yes, definitely 60-40. Yeah, but we're all in debt. So here's to being in the, in the red. To the red and to you guys loving each other. We love you so much. And we can't wait to leave this weekend and go back to normal life where we can continue to see you guys just have your love and adventure together. We love you. Mwah! All right. Hi, Chris and Courtney. Thank you for having us to your beautiful wedding at the E Ranch. We love everything we've seen. Uh, you two are an amazing couple, and we love you to death. Paula? Yes. Happy to be here. Beautiful couple, beautiful wedding. Congratulations, Courtney and Chris. Many happy returns. Is this another one that doesn't amplify? <laughs> Tell me when. Right? Yeah. Is it ironic? Chris Sutter. No means, no nuts. Get hold of We just want to congratulate you. This is a very important day. We love you. We need you. We pray for you every day. Thank you for everything you've given to us. I got you. <laughs> you jammed it. I totally did. Andy totally did. Thank you. Cheers, guys. 
And now I would like to introduce Peter Connor, the greatest deer hunter that ever lived. <laughs> hey guys, I just want to say congratulations. This has been an awesome wedding, and I wish you guys the best and happiness to the future. Cheers. Cheers. And, and Sut, you know that we were gonna we are gonna fill up this SD card on that camera tonight. We will be back every It'll five minutes for the next <laughs> 24 hours, <laughs> and, the, and the Nutcracker will be back. Chris and Courtney, we love you. Woohoo! This is a great wedding. We can't be more happy for you. We love you. Congratulations. Congratulations. We wish you a lot of happiness, a lot of love, a lot of Chris's and Courtney's. Little Chris's and Courtney. <laughs> Congratulations. A lot, lot of love. So to Chris and Courtney, I love you. And I'm so happy you ended up together because you're exact opposites in such a good way. And I guess our advice to you, I think Z will say it better, so I'll, I'll leave it up to him. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks for having us, especially me. Um, beautiful ceremony, beautiful party, beautiful couple. Happy to celebrate with you. No advice. Oh, no, no, there's advice. So our advice to you is when you're feeling like the other person doesn't really get you, if you just end up drinking one more shot, you'll be fine. I love you so much, guys. Bye. Well, Chris and Courtney, you are the perfect looking couple. And, and you know, I love Marnie and Tom. I love... Chris, I love Annie, and I'm just getting to know the Smallies, and I love them already too. This is great. This is, I am so happy for you guys, and I know that you'll make a lot of wonderful memories, and you'll create a great life and for everyone around you also. I, I'm so, congratulations so much. Hi, Sat and Courtney. Sat, I have known you since I was this big, when you would not let me play with your GI Joes with Jenny, very exclusive situation at Carol and Dee's. Uh, and since then, you have become the most inclusive and caring and loyal, loyal friend that I have, one of the best. And I love you so much. And Courtney, you're amazing. And I'm so happy that you guys have found each other. And I just wish you all the best. And I speak for Matt as well. And we just want you to have a beautiful life together. And we hope to be a part of it. Love you so much. Uh, yeah, Chris and Courtney, so uh, feel so lucky and blessed to be here to watch the union of such beautiful people and know that you're going to have nothing but uh, the best of luck and love and life ahead of you. And uh, really, thank you for having us, and it's been a real honor to be a part of it. So uh, congratulations. Hi, Sut. Hi, Courtney. I wasn't prepared for this. I don't really know what to say. This is stressful. Um, I love that we got to grow up together, Chris, and I love that separated for a short time, but then we brought, were brought back together when you moved to Denver, and thank you for doing that. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm so glad you moved back to Denver, and I love seeing you, although we don't see you enough, um, but I'm always here for you. We're both always here for you and Courtney, and I love you like a brother, and I'm so proud of you, and good job. Congratulations. Good job with this wedding. wedding and I wish you all the best. Um, you know, Courtney, I just want to say I, I love you very much and uh, I was very honored that you asked me to officiate your wedding. I felt uh, personally very honored by that and, you know, Ursula and me as a family welcome uh, Christopher Sutter and yep. welcome you to the family. And AFL. AFL and, you know, the, the outlaws, it's funny, we spend less and less time with friends and more time with family because we have them as friends. So, so thank God we get all, along together. <laughs> But um, no, I'm really proud of you both, and uh, I, I think this is such a great marriage. You guys have very similar uh, interests, great personalities, and I look forward to uh, growing old with you guys with family. Obviously, we're uh, soon on our way, and I think that's going to happen for you soon. And I, I can't wait till the next Smalley gathering with all uh, our family. So congratulations once again from uh, the Smalleys to now the Sutters, and, and we love you very much. And Ursula are here for. Um, any excitement you want to guys any the next adventure let's do it together yep. world cup maybe <laughs>
Go. Courtney and Chris. First of all, just want to say we love you both. Courtney, of course, I've known you longer than I've known Chris. Chris, I've only met you twice now, but you're fabulous both times. And I can tell you, you really like to drink beer. And you know what? We're moving to Denver soon. And hopefully by the time you... Won't you be our neighbor? Won't you be our neighbor? And uh, you're going to have to give us tips on where to live. And also, we're going to have many, many... Hopefully, co-mutual family memories together. Long drinking nights. Long drinking nights. Porch sitting. Corny, you know what I'm talking about. Wine and the porch. And, uh, yeah. Good luck to you both. Good luck to you both. Thanks for making us part of your day. And, yes. And uh, salute. Love you. So, Courtney and Chris, we just wanted to say congratulations so much. We love you so much. Um, we miss you. We hope to move to Denver at some point. And thank you for inviting us to your wedding. And we love it. And yeah. congratulations. And are you coming in? We're ready. Ready? And we ready. love you. Come on in. Congratulations. We love you. That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yay. Aaron loves you, too. Yeah. I would like to thank you, first and foremost, for allowing me to be here. Um, my wife, Amy, who brought me into the, the world of Chris Sutter. Um, Chris, you've been phenomenal since the day I met you. And uh, Courtney, I've met you a few times. Um, you've been wonderful as well, so congrats to both of you. This is a wonderful night. Um, I do want to say this whole place has been one, you know, it's a beautiful place, Colorado, love it. Uh, would love to live out here. Um, but you know, Traverse City, Leland, beautiful. <sighs> you guys, it's a, it's a bit drafty in here. Anybody feeling the, the draft? Okay, Emmy's he's going to come in. Emmy's going to stand. No, time. I want to tell a story. This Do you want to hear a story? Yes. I'm going to tell you a story Actually, that Chris has can... never heard. Okay. Or no, you, Wait, you've never Chris, heard. Oh. Chris, Chris was I part of Chris me. Has heard it. Are you rolling? All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Go so, ahead. All right. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Courtney, Chris, uh, my beautiful wife and Ryan. Beautiful friend, Ryan. They're going to stand here while I tell a story. All right, so... Uh, no. So, uh, <clears throat> Courtney. I'm going to address Courtney, because Chris and I have a... We don't have anything to talk about, really. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, Chris and I were in... Um, journal Chris and I were in uh, government class government together. Class. Government class. He was a senior in high school, and I was a junior. And uh, he, he's a liberal Democrat, talk to the you know, guy. And I didn't know what I was. Talk to them. No, I want to talk to him. No, it's for Chris and Chris. Uh, okay. This is to me. Okay. This is fucking Obama. He doesn't care who I'm talking to. <laughs> Mike, the, or Chris doesn't care who I'm talking to. Randy so, does. Give it to me. No, <laughs> let me tell you. No, this is a great story. So <laughs> Chris and I are in government class together. And uh, <clears throat> he's a Democrat, and I don't know what I am. He likes black people, unlike this guy. He's like, no. <laughs> no. <clears throat> they should just ride the boat office. back to I Africa, know. right? Oh, I no. know this is going. I know no. we already talked no. about it. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, man, you made me lose my point. Government, Government class. Starting Chris. over. Starting he's over. A Go. Yeah. You don't know what you are. Hold on a second. Can you put pause for a second? Just pause. All right, I got it. Sorry. Oh, it took me one second. Sorry, I lost my point. We're ready to play. Okay. Let's do it. <clears throat> roll it. You roll it? Yeah, she just, she got to hand her most. Is this what you do? Okay. Uh, just tell yeah. them the story. Just keep on trucking right, because so. I'm in love with you already. <clears throat> no, 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 no. So Sut and I are... Uh, Government, government class in our school is a big deal. So there's a gov the governor of uh, Michigan was Pfizer during that time, uh, Bart lawyer, Stupac. and Bart Stupak was a senator. So Sut and I um, were in charge of the Democratic Party at that time, and we, and we had to campaign and and whatever else, and. Uh, there was a after dinner party. This was the night of their election. And uh, the party ended up at the park place. And they asked, we're volunteering, the fancy hotel. 
presidential suite, up at I'm, the top. Up I'm at not, the top. And I'm not wearing pants, and neither are you. And so Chris and I are, are uh, we're requested to uh, bring the champagne and the hors d'oeuvres and everything else up to the presidential suite. So <clears throat> um, we ended up with... Um, you grabbed the cases of champagne, we took about three up. steps up the stairs, looked how at each other, how many turned around, and walked away with all of it. How many <laughs> cases of champagne did you walk away with? Three. Oh, I got oh. like a soprano. <laughs> Where did you drink it all? In a cornfield. And In we made love. Ben. With a lot of women. There's one woman. She didn't know we were there, but if she did... She would have known that we liked her a lot. <clears throat> but Chris and I walked up the park place with cases of champagne. I can't sell and we this. walked right back down and put them in my car. I loved it. There's no left. such thing as celebrating. <laughs> and, and, and I attribute that to him like never so. being a liberal again. We have four kids between us. No, <laughs> oh, but. But Chris, they're, they're the best four kids. Seriously. The, the All those motherfuckers with the kids over there, their kids are like bleeding out of their fucking noses. Our kids, no. our kids are fucking behaved. What, what actually? Our kids are behaved. But Ryan, what I think. They're in jail. Ryan, quiet. Ryan, what I actually think is going to happen. Ryan, what I think is going to happen is. 20 seconds left. Wrap it up. Sut is no longer going to be a liberal commie piece. Can I buy a rubber? He's actually going to be a capitalistic Republican right wing. Hello, all the Michigan fans. All right, so today is a great day. 12, it's 14, 13. 13, yes. Right? And yes. Uh, Arizona played Michigan. Yes, and it was a wonderful day uh, because of that. Um, and I know that Cordy and Chris are going to watch this one day and they're going to scoff. But let's be honest, are they ever going to really watch this? Maybe not. Probably, probably not. not. Probably, probably not. not. No. no, I don't I mean, think so. I mean, they fast forward through the parts that they don't like. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And they, <laughs> it's like, these two guys are talking. Let's and fast like, forward right now. So this whatever we say is doesn't So matter. we're going to talk about how amazing Arizona basketball is. And, and, and we're, go we're winning the national championship this year, I think. And it's very, very poignant and it's very, very timely because Courtney spent some time in Arizona. Very much time at Arizona. Yes. A lot of time. As a matter of fact, she got her medical degree from the University of Arizona. Yes, she did. The Arizona Wildcats. Yes. And Chris is a Michigander. Oof. I mean, Oof. That's tough to swallow. I know. That and so. Tough to swallow, sir. And so today, what happened? That Arizona beat the University of Michigan at the University of Michigan. At, let's say rephrase that. Rephrase it. The University of Arizona, go Wildcats, beat Michigan at. Michigan. That's a bear down. And it was BTFD. 72 to 70. So, we love you guys. Bear down. Our wives are coming. We're in trouble. I we see them right now. Didn't mean We're to in so plural, much trouble. Just because. I'm going to say this, and this is going to be this is going to be important. Uh, Courtney, Chris, love you. Don't know you that well, Chris, but know that Courtney is our Arizona. We Chris, you're Michigan. She's 72. You. You're 70. Give her the two points. She wins. Done. <laughs> oh, we're ready. Well, I thought sunglasses is the new tradition. It's really bright for this camera. I'm sorry I lost my voice, but I'm very happy to be here. We're very excited. I know nothing about the basketball game. <laughs> I hope this is being aired right after the last one, which I assume it is. Yeah, okay, good. Do you have something to say about that? You should talk more than me. No, I don't have anything to say about that, but <laughs> I have a message from Dr. VR, and it's, Courtney, you finally found a man. He'd be so happy. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> you finally did your hair, and it looks fantastic. Keep going, VR, keep going. That's good. Anyways, so <laughs> I'm so happy for you guys. It's been a long time since, you know, the clinic when only 20 people who show up to the clinic and party with us. It's been many years, but it's been awesome, and I hope you guys are happy for the rest of your lives. Yes, yes. I'm very, very happy that you found a good man. And I definitely agree with your sister. This is all your mom's doing, and you found one in a million, 
and you deserve such a good man. And I know he's madly in love with you too. I love you guys. Thanks. Channel I'm ready. Chris. Channeling Chris, I am. <laughs> so, BTFD. <laughs> so amazingly happy for you guys. Um, Chris and Courtney, although I haven't known you long, I know you well. And uh, it's been an amazing time, the short time we spent together. Um, Tara and I would like to wish you the best of luck in the future. And I know you guys are gonna make an amazing couple and an amazing family. Um, Tara, do you have anything to say to this? Just the smile that you bring to each other's faces is inspiration. And if you need any advice on being married for 10 years, you know, Dan Plus. and Tara are here. So uh, we wish you the very best and we love you both and can't wait to come visit you in Colorado. Love you guys. Me too. It's cool. Tell them that's cool. It's only girls. It's only girls. So only girls. this Aaron. 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 is, is <laughs> this is the girls making group. The girls are waiting. Yeah. Paula. Who are we missing? Yeah. And uh, yeah. time's out. Nicola. Time's out. Time's out. Time's out. Time's out. And it's never us. gonna end. It's never gonna end. Oh and my God, we're, we're all and we love you. We love you. We love you. Time's out. Time's out. Time's out. Time's out. Time's out. Time's out. Best friends. We're super best. Super best friends. You have the best friends. And there's just so much joy and love for us for you guys. It's true. And, and we're going to do whatever we're so excited. Us to people. Mama, we're, we're here so for you. To come here to and video. we are going to have the next <laughs> best dress. vacation, 2014. What's going on over right there? <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's pregnant. <laughs> there may be other people up here yeah, that are pregnant Aaron. as well. Down here, down here. Oh. Um, <laughs> not a real microphone. Yeah. Next. Yeah. Aaron's always yeah. pregnant. Yeah. Next yeah. trip, 2014. Tucson, Arizona, football game ready? Be ready, Chris. You're coming with us to the next Arizona game. We love you. I have one more thing to say. Yeah, one more thing. One more thing. All right. <laughs> we just want you to know, whenever you're visiting your in-laws for the first time and you need a prescription for a UTI, there's going to be more than one yeah. person here who actually has a license. I have to tell you, Courtney, to provide that for you. Courtney, once and Courtney has called me about this frequently. No, it's true. It's true. Yeah. I just want to say that I was glad to be there for you in that moment. Uh, <laughs> and okay, on three, we love you, Courtney. There's yeah. three. We love you, Courtney! Hello, Courtney and Chris. Hello. Here's your godson otherwise known as your god dang. Your brother-in-law, yes. your brother, and your uh, sister. Wishing you the best wedding ever. Can you say something? Can you say doggy? Doggy? What are you saying? Doggy? What are you say, Baba? Say hi, godmother, godparents. No, Court, Chris, we love you very much. Um, couldn't be happy for you on this super, super special day. Thank you for being such an incredible part of our lives. I would like to say thank you to Randy and the whole Smalley gang for throwing this shindig, and also to Courtney and Chris. And little baby Jake with these, this is an ice cream cone. <laughs> so, Courtney and Chris, we wish you the uh, happiness, a lifetime of happiness together. And we hope that you too soon have a uh, little guy like this one. You should just do this. Have this. Do this. Do you want to have one of these do guys of so these. we can raise family close together? We're very grateful that you live in the state of Colorado with us. And um, cheers to both of you. And good night. Say bye bye. Good walk away. Good night. Love you guys.